reason number four that people do not hire virtual assistants is that they are afraid that they are taking advantage of people. Hey guys, Justin Nelson here, CEO of Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistants, and today we're gonna cover reason number four, people do not hire virtual assistants, and it's because they think that just because virtual assistants have such a low dollar per hour rate that they are taking advantage of people. But before we jump into that, make sure that you guys hit the like button, the bell, the subscribe, anything that looks like it should be hit down there, hit it real fast to make sure you guys get updates on all of our future videos. But here's the thing, I was the same way as you when I first got started using virtual assistants and I had a friend in real estate tell me, because if you guys don't know, I started off in real estate, that's my background, is they said, Justin, you should use virtual assistants for three, four, back then it was even like two bucks an hour. And I was like, man, that just sounds wrong, right? Like I only had one frame of reference. I had a US-based economy. I wasn't super traveled. I had never really left the US except for Mexico. Like I knew Mexico, like I knew I could buy more beer in Mexico with my money, but I didn't really ever think about it in economy scale. I was 16, 17, 18 when I first started using virtual assistants um, back when I was helping my dad's real estate team. And so I just felt that if I had an employee and I was paying them two, three bucks an hour, that I was taking advantage of a human. And so as time went on though, and I started to talk to my colleagues and I started to meet their virtual assistants, and this was when I was like 16 years old, I was shadowing the top real estate teams in the nation. I was like, wow, these virtual assistants come onto the calls with such smiles, such high energy, such gratitude. And I'm like, wait a second, they wouldn't be coming on the calls like that. They wouldn't be expressing such gratitude if they were being taken advantage of. And so I started to really study. I started to study world culture. I started to study more macro and microeconomics. And what I realized was, is it was actually possible for, to go pay someone three to $4 an hour and it'd be double what their living wage was, you know, their minimum wage. You could pay them four or five bucks an hour and it would be the equivalency of making six figures in their country. And so this was for me the first time in probably my entire life where I had just felt super naive. I was like, how, how dare I think that other people may be taking advantage of humans just because I don't know how the economy works. I don't know what their country's like. I don't know what their inflation is, I don't know what things cost there. And so really as I started to use virtual assistants and I started to bring them onto my own team, I started to realize just how much money and how far money would go over there. Like it was really interesting, kind of to take a little side topic here. Um, Sphere Rocket was started in Mar May, January, March of 2020, right before COVID. We started it right before COVID. We had no clue COVID was coming and we started Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistants. And since then, we've placed over 4,000 virtual assistants and helped thousands of customers get their VAs. But I wasn't allowed to go into the country. So even when I started the company, I had never been to the Philippines. I only knew what I knew from the virtual assistants that were on my team, right? They would tell me things. And so I never really actually got to put my hands and eyes on it in the Philippines. Like, what does a Coke cost? What does this cost? And recently this year in 2022, I got the chance to go to the Philippines. They finally opened up after COVID. They let us in and it was astonishing. I'll just give you guys a little example. I uh, flew into the Philippines for the first time, got to meet my team. I have about a hundred virtual assistants on my personal team and I flew almost probably 70 to 75 of them from Manila to Boracay. Um, and when we got to Boracay, we had like unlimited food, buffets every single day for two or three days. We had private island tours, private beaches, all you can eat food. Like you'll just see some images that my team's probably throwing up here right now. And it was just insane. I think we even went to the club like two nights and we just like, I just said, I, I haven't seen you guys in two years, let's party it up. And we had unlimited drinks and like, and I, I, I wasn't watching my credit card and I was scared. Cause if I went did that in the US at a club, I would come out with a 10, 20, $30,000 bill. And when I got done with the trip and we got back and we started doing books, I was like, hey Shireen, 
who was this lady, one of my CEOs. And I was like, what did it cost us for that entire trip to Boracay? Like, the airplanes there, getting all of our team members back, all of the private transportation, all of the security, all of our concierge, all of the hotel rooms, all of the drinks. She was like, I think it was like $14,000. And I was like, what? I, yeah, I literally, my mouth was open to the eyes like, what, $14,000? I knew things were cheap, but I didn't know that they were that cheap. And so just to show you, like it was amazing to figure out how far the dollars went. I have some of my VAs making $4 an hour that are literally building their houses of their dreams based on them having an income now that they've never had before. And so one of the things I challenge you guys to do is that if you're in this part number four and this is you and you think that you might possibly be taking advantage of people, I actually would challenge you to frame your set of mind different and think about how much you're blessing people, how much you're changing their lives, right? I would dare you guys to go watch um, this channel right here. You guys will see a link that you guys can click. Um, it's the Sphere Rocket YouTube channel in the Philippines and you can see testimonials and different things like that. And I'm not here to try and change your views or judgments, but I don't want you to ever not do something just because you don't have all the facts like I didn't used to, right? It's crazy. And you guys have seen this in one of my previous parts about internet. We have 93,000 applications a month to work for Sphere Rocket. If we took advantage of people and people weren't being paid well, we would not have 93,000 applications, right? I was a uh, funny story. I was laying in bed the other night and uh, I was looking through TikTok and you know, Sphere Rocket has a TikTok. You guys can follow it right here if you want to follow it. Uh, it's a really fun TikTok. It's run by my virtual assistants. But I was scrolling through TikTok and I hit the little hashtag and I started to look through the hashtag Sphere Rocket VA. And as I scrolled through there, there was videos with like 100,000 likes, 100,000 this, and it was virtual assistants unveiling their new iPhones. Like I had one virtual assistant that bought new AirPod Pros, iPhone, chart, all of these things. And I was just like, wow. Like it was incredible to see how far the dollar went. Now, the very last thing I'm gonna cover here, and you'll see this in future videos. Does $4 go very far in the Philippines? The answer is yes, and the answer is no. The reason why you see a great disparity in what virtual assistants think is a fair rate and what goes far and what doesn't go far is what I call a multi-generational country. The Philippines as a developing country very much so is a multi-generational fam family oriented where you see a lot of blended families where you know kids are living with mom, dad, grandparents, or they have ne nephews and nieces while parents are away and work on the cruise ships and things like that. And so if you have a virtual assistant, let's say for example that you have husband, wife, $4 an hour, they're each, they're each VAs, and they're just living with their two kids. A household making eight bucks an hour with just two kids are gonna live extremely well. Now. With that being said, no different than if you were in the United States. If it's mom, dad, each making four bucks an hour, two kids, mom, their mom and dad, their grandparents in the house, nieces and nephews they're watching, and they're both making four bucks an hour, it obviously does not go nearly as far, right? They're definitely living more paycheck to paycheck at four bucks an hour. But just like in the US, right, you wouldn't just all of a sudden pay them 10 bucks an hour because they have 10 people living in their household. And so it's very similar to the US. However, it's not similar to the US in the fact that they have a ton more multi-generational type living situations than we do in the US, and thus, Sometimes why you hear a VA might say $4 an hour is not a lot, and yet then you also have VAs that say, I can do anything that I wanna do at four bucks an hour as well. So just wanted to say, do not let your thoughts stop you from doing something that you know you need to do. So as always, Justin Nelson, CEO of Sphere Rocket Virtual Assistance, we are here to help you guys train, find, just really grow and explode your business through leverage and get you guys time back. So if I can ever be a service to you, if you have any questions about how far money goes, Google it, drop a comment down below. And as always, if you ever need a virtual assistant, just check out our website down below in the description and we'd be more than happy to help you. And I will see you guys in part number five.